Let's look at activity 18G. The question says, open the database that you saved in activity 18F. Produce a report that displays all the data in the stationary table within the width of a landscape page. Okay, let me first of all create the report. Now, for us to create the report, I'm going to base the report on activity 18D, which contains the field that I'm going to need that, but at, and at least it's going to give me some also records. Okay, so we're going to use that. We're not going to use uh, activity 18F actually that was indicated in the question because we've already applied some, you know, um, rules here. So we don't want to use that. Okay, so I'm going to base it on activity 18D. So what you want to do, you want to go to create, you want to go to report wizard. From report, report wizard here, you will um, select the query activity 18D, which was um, uh, done from stationary table, right? Now, I'm going to move every field to, to the right because I want to uh, create a report based on all the fields. So I'm going to go next, next, next here. Now, you want to make sure that it's in tabular form, okay? Don't make it columnar or justify, just make it... Um, table form if you want to experiment you can actually experiment with columnar and justified so that you will see how it looks right but it's always good to use table form because table form will keep the records you know in a way that it's more readable okay so here you want to check landscape based on the question because it has to be within the width of a landscape page okay so so make sure you check the add the field with so all fields fit on a single page so you can go next and then here i want to rename this to uh activity 18 g right yes activity 18 g uh, so this stationary table stationary query will um suggest will suggest that it was gotten from a stationary table so we're good with that so i'm just going to finish okay and preview that Okay, here we have our query here. So the first thing you want to do is to exit, close the print preview. So this is the print preview. So you want to close it. You want to go to layout view. From layout view here, the first thing I want to do is to arrange all my fields so that they will all be visible or the labels actually, so that they will be visible, right? So I'm just, I just want to adjust this one to the left here. So I believe that before trying out this, you would have, um, done the task related to this uh, question right so I'm, I'm just going to click on type and then hold on my control key and click on the details you want to move this placeholder you want to move it to the left a bit just to create a bit of space and then i'm going to move this one too to the left so making sure that no record is cutting off right good so here I need to move this one a little further so that they will all be in one line. I like them to be in one line. I don't like them to close up like that. So just um, let me see if there's anyone uh, going to the next line. Okay, so everything is good here, right? These are a lot of records actually, but that's fine. Okay, here we have um, quantity. So I need to move quantity. Uh, to this side, I think we have enough space actually. To be honest, so is there another? Any other? Okay, there are some other fields to the to the left. So probably, I'll, I think it's okay like this. The quantity where you are is fine. Uh, color where you are is fine. Okay. So this one, S prize. So I need to move it to the left here. Everything should be visible, and then I have uh, was this one discount, okay? Discount to come here, so I think everything is fine here. So all our fields and and um, let me just close here. Let me just close this. So all our fields and the labels are showing well. So that's the first thing to do, okay? So the next thing will be has your name on the right in the header of each page okay so it means that your name on the right should appear on every page so how do we do that so what you want to do is you go to your design view go home and then go to design view what you want to do here is you want to have the page um, header you want to anything that you put in the page header is what's going to 
actually appear on every page so what i'm going to do i'm just going to pull down this a bit here and then select everything here you want to move this down a bit right and you want to go up uh to the control group here click on label so you want to actually create a label here and then have your name so i'm just going to have my name here so my name is kechukun anolefo right so what's the alignment the head of each page okay has your name on the right so it has to be right so what, what we're going to do you want to click on it once and then you want to right align it so you want to go to format and then make sure it is right aligned right up there okay so let me just reshape it a bit uh let me just leave it like that and then pull this ones a bit up again probably a little okay I hope it's not too much so we're going to preview that when we're done and then move this one up a notch okay so now you're done with that so let's go to the print preview and then see how that looks so where's my name okay so my name is up here on the right here so if you go to the next page how many pages do we have here so every page will actually have i think how many pages okay we have about four pages here every page will have my name on top of uh the page right every page right so that's how what um the page footer is about so it's important that you differentiate between the the page header sorry the page header actually and the report header so report header will appear anything you put in the report header will appear on the first page on top right but anything you put on the page header will appear on top on every page so you need to understand the difference okay so the next question will be has a title all stationary all stationary in stock let me copy that center aligned at the top of the first page okay so which means that in this case we're going to add this in the report header right so i'm just going to remove this here and then paste that here so this placeholder here you want to make it to fill up the whole page okay and then you'll be able to center let me just go format and then center align uh the title right so probably make it bold even though the question never indicate that they can indicate that so but i'm just going to leave it like that okay so the next one will be has a subtitle requested for the manager right align at the top of the first page okay so once they say at the top of the first page you should know that 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 should go into the report header so what you want to do here you want to pull down this report header okay put it down a little more just a tiny notch and then you want to use the what's it called the label and then create a label here yeah and then you want to write that the request for the manager so that that serves as a subtitle that will appear at the top of the first page only okay and it has to be right aligned so you want to click on that particular label and then you want to go to format and then right align it then that appears at the right side okay you can choose to actually increase the font if you want to the, the question never said so but you know just for explanation purposes so you can make this one maybe 12 something like that okay so let's go and preview our let me just go to um print preview and then see how it looks so this will be the subtitle so let me just make it a bit bigger so i'm i'm gonna make the title to be a little bigger too so probably make this one um sorry make it to be uh 26 just a, a little bigger and then make this one to be 16 right probably make it bold something like that right so that that will show a little more so so i'll go home and then go back to print preview and then see how it looks okay so this is presentable right now okay so you have this so this will appear on the first page so the the header the 
the part header will show here and the page header will show on every page which is my name okay so i think that's about it okay so everything here has been done all right so thank you guys i will see you guys in the next one